Yo, today we are going over Quora answers that I've had and as we wait, I will scroll down to the bottom and set this up. Now the last question I answered on that page, well, not on that page, sorry. On, well, the last question we got to, question and answer we got to was, can I turn my life around? Well, how can I turn my life around in a year? And I think that video did quite good. I, I went over the three questions that I normally try to go over and yeah, I ended off on a good question to be honest and I, and I liked that video a lot. Today, who knows, a surprise, it's a surprise for me and you both. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't prepared any notes or anything like that. Soon I will start preparing notes, guys. I'm just getting used to impro improving this whole thing of just kind of just starting up and then doing it as I go along. Now, any any kind of changes I do, I need to update you guys on I'll do as I as I make these videos. For example, there is a change and if you're watching these videos as they come, I've changed my channel name to, to Chance Insights along with my other channel names. So one of my channels is called Sammy Chance, another one's called Five Chance, and then I have Chance Philanthropy, which philanthropy which no one knows about yet, but they will know. I've changed those names now so and now the reason being, the main reason is, is that it's easier to say those, it's, it's shorter names, like the whole 25, I, I like the idea of 25, I'm going to keep it with me because it's, I, I made it before. What do you mean I can't go back further than that? Apparently maybe it's because it's, I've gone so far back. Maybe I might start doing more questions guys, maybe that's the whole, the issue. Um, If I go, if I change the camera to the, yeah. Oh, this is a lot better. It's a lot bad. It's a lot bad. Maybe it's because of there's so many answers I've had that I can't go further back than what it is. Because right now it's at 370. And right now this video is at two minutes. And I need to quickly make this video so I don't over overdo it. We'll make this quite short and quick today. I'll see how if I pace out a bit different how things go. Hopefully it's hopefully it's better or just different for the people watching. And you'll see my, you'll see the differences I, I make and the, and the improvements I make as I make more of these videos. Because, you know, with the repetition, I'm hoping to get better. First question is, how do I become less shy or feminine? Question is, I don't know if it's from a guy or a girl, honestly. I don't, I don't know if, I, I didn't know that at the time, 100%. <laughs> I just answered the question. Look, my answer to that question is, you can be more, you can be more open to conversations and expressing your views even if they differ from others. Don't be afraid of confrontation. It takes time to make, it takes time, but so the small change, but with small changes, you can achieve that goal. <laughs> yes, it takes time, Sammy. Look, I answered one aspect of how you can approach it. Maybe your shy in, maybe your shyness can be fear of confrontation and how to battle that is to focus on standing on what you believe in when that time comes in a conversation so if someone this happened to me recently where we talked about ufc for example and someone mentioned khabib and how they're all on peds and and things like that and i told them that no i don't think they're on peds because they don't look like they're they don't look like they are they don't look like they are on performance enhancing drugs they look they have regular body shapes and i mentioned that for example my favorite fire is john jones and when he fought Daniel Cormier in his second fight, you can tell that he's on PEDs. Like you can tell his physique is it just looks like he's on PEDs. And what happened after the fight? He got tested positive. And but all of that to say was at the time when I was talking to that guy after our session in the gym, I told him I didn't I didn't I didn't silence my opinion on, on it because I I was afraid of conversation. I told him no. I straight up like they're not on PEDs, they don't look like it. And if they all were on PDs, they'll all be caught. If, and because he said all of the Dagestanis on, on, on PDs, and it clearly had an agenda behind what he was trying to say and some sort of motive. But I told him no. Like, and that's that's the key. Sometimes you have to be firm with your beliefs and be be very intentional about it, so that when the moment comes, you can you can do it, stick to your beliefs, and then when you go back home, think about it and. Think about how you could have done things better, what you've done good, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. 
And yeah, it, it takes time with those small changes you can achieve that goal, hopefully. You know, keep practicing. Don't 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 lose hope. What inspires and motivates you today? Today, well today today that was twenty third of November today. Now it is the the twenty fifth of January, two months later. Today I'm able to help people on Quora and Reddit with the knowledge I have and that makes me inspired to keep going because of the benefit I can have to society. I tr I firmly believe that and I hope I keep the sentiment forever that I have three things that in line with my purpose. First is to worship Allah because I'm a Muslim first and foremost and that's the most important thing in my life. Second is to spread the message of Islam and positivity. Third is to contribute to the betterment of society and all three of those I have held close to my chest, my heart, since March, I'm, a, I'm like to believe since March of last year, so it's been a year now, and I'm hoping to continue it for another year, and uh, 10 more years, and until I die, I'll keep those sentiments, and to put at the forefront, that is what my, at least at least share one of my purposes, and, and why I do what I do, because it's, it, is kind of, it is very important to understand someone's intention behind why they why they do what they do and hopefully that answer helped someone that read it the third one we are good with time right now i'm going to kind of split through these i'm going to do three more and hopefully that'll be good with time what may, what motivates you to seek out new educational opportunities oh this is a good question it looks like i'll go back in time and and and, and <laughs> every day i've recently every day i've been i've been journaling things i remember from my past to kind of be able to tell stories about my, my history because I think I have quite an interest in history with with my whole experience of growing up and what I went through and people that I've met and experiences that I've had and I just I'm trying to recall as much as I can and I'm taking it slowly but this is a good reminder here that I should keep that keep that going so the first thing I said was four years ago I seek new educational opportunities to learn more about myself the world and what I have to offer to everyone now I seek I seek new educational opportunities to fulfill my purpose of learning more about my religion contributing and contributing to the betterment of society. Bang on. Listen, listen, you guys saw me load this, load this. I promise you this is all improv. I didn't plan any of this. It just happened like how it's happened, you know, it's God's plan. When I think about how I can benefit others with my knowledge, it makes me want to gain more knowledge to help people more effectively and reach a wider audience. I'm currently reading a book by John C. Maxwell and I read I read a few I read four pages today and one of the things he had mentioned is something I have been feeling that it for the past few months and he had mentioned the important the importance of encouragement and how encouraging others is very important because people want to be encouraged and when you think about the top leaders they want to be encouraged. When I think about myself, my bro, when I think about myself I want to be encouraged. So I want to I want to be able to to give that encouragement out to others and it has been a reminder to me that these past months I've been needing encouragement to keep going because it has been difficult at times to to keep pushing with this with reaching out to people regardless of if they get back to me or not and most of the time they don't get back to me when I when I reply to stuff and keeping it going and having that firm intention even though that it's it's difficult but Keeping in mind, what am, what's my intention behind what I'm doing? Why am I doing it? It's not, it's not for that. That comes with it. Kind of motivation that's been driving me to keep going. And But still the encouragement is it definitely boosts, it boosts you way, way up when it comes to work rate. Um, the, next, the next point is, what motivates you to wake up every day in the morning? Okay, another question. These are a bit personal today, isn't it? Aren't they, aren't they a bit personal, guys and girls that are watching this? <laughs> getting a bit, getting a bit personal. Must have been feeling silent on that day, answering all these questions. Each day I can help. What may what motivates you to wake up every day in the morning? Each day I can help someone that wants to grow and change their lives positively, and it feels like my chance to be there to provide guidance and knowledge. This makes me want to get up so that I don't miss that chance. This inspires me every day now. I would let that sit in for a second. This continues to inspire me, and is, and is a very strong, 
reminder for me of my of how inspirational it is that even though it's, it's someone's online they're still in reach where you can try help them with what you can and it doesn't mean that i'm just because i'm not focused on me being the big broad i'm the big guy i'm the big guy i'm the big guy no it's, i'm not really focused on that i'm focused on like i have a little bit of of knowledge and and i have the desire to help others so if I can do with what I can, if I can do what I can with what I have, I, that makes me so inspired to, to take action. And it's more so about doing what I can for the other people. That that makes me, that drives me. And it's it's odd because some people they just don't have that drive. So this kind of they they doubt the they doubt that can be a real motivation. But it, it really is. We at ten minutes. I will do another question since I feel like it's it's good so far, and I'll, maybe I'll do another one as well. So the next one is, how can we be free from negative thoughts? You cannot free yourself completely from negative thoughts because that is our human nature. However, you can tip the scale. Tip the scale? This means that there is a, there is a balance between positive and negative thoughts that run through your mind, both consciously and subconsciously. If you focus your conscious thoughts on producing positive thoughts constantly by using affirmation, suggestion, repetition and visualization, you can affect your subconscious mind too and produce more positive thoughts than negative. I read a book called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind and it is a great read for those wanting to learn more about this subject. And not just about this subject but about that paragraph because I mentioned, I mentioned many points about how you can't completely eradicate negative thoughts. They are, they are a constant thing that happens to you because it's human nature. It, it's, it's what happens. That's mentioned in the book. Auto-suggestion is mentioned in the book. Affirmation, repetition, visualization. All of those I mentioned in the book and how you can foster positivity and produce good results by producing good by creating good thoughts, starting with the good thoughts. And that's that book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. We'll get to that that review soon. Uh actually not soon. Um we're currently on book three. I think that book might have been book sixteen, maybe. So there, there's a lot a lot to get through, but we will eventually get there. And once we get there, we will be ready to to share to, to give i'll be ready to give my insight and and share what i know and i'll be looking forward to what everyone else has to say about that book now we'll do this last point you know we'll do another one we'll do another one. you know dj another one you want one we got another one but on five we got another one how many is that is that six that's two four six we've done seven this will be the seventh one Okay. What is the significance? Wait, wait. Did I just say I was gonna do this one? Right, okay, cool. We'll do, no, 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 relax. We'll do this one first, and and I'll see if I want to do another one. <laughs> Let us relax. I right, put my hands up. What is the significance of nurturing young brains and encouraging innovative ideas? What is the significance of that? Why care about the youth? Why care about innovating ideas? What's the point? What is the? What is the? What is the drive behind it? Why should there be any motive or incentive to do so? That is the question. When you create an environment that welcomes innovation, creativity, and curiosity, the results are great because you allow people to express themselves and share their ideas in a safe place, in a safe and productive space. This is beneficial to everyone because people can work together and improve on each other's ideas. It is also important to invest in the younger generation because they will eventually lead the, the next that follows them. That is an essential point that I'm glad I mentioned about how you lead the youth and that youth will become the elders that lead the, the youth that follow them. So instill good habits and, and thoughts into them. If you help them, then you are contributing to the betterment you're contributing to the betterment of society of this society and the next. A continual kind of growth and it, it, it will it will compound. To the to those younger and younger and going back to the beginning of the first paragraph i kind of mentioned the, the positive positives of, of having a, an environment of innovation and creative people and cur curious people and yeah it, it, you kind of it's like giving it's like giving a football to a footballer kind of thing and when you when you give thinkers that that space to to share their thoughts it's it's a great space for them to 
to practice and to to do what they like to do and to practice thinking about things and creating having new ideas and and things like that okay we will do this last one this will be the title of the video actually because it seems like a a very important question and a good one for the for the title I hate my life so much when or how can it get better and questions like I just hope but Quora has just been like this for so many years before I even came to Quora it's been like this for decades I think maybe 20 years has been around I'm assuming or 15 years it's just a one-liner so you can't get much from the one-liner so let's just let's just see how I how I tackle this question I, I can't really remember what I said you can start changing your mindset and looking at it like this the things I love about myself and the things I want to change. You need to build a positive attitude that you will have the, that, you, that will give you the self-confidence to believe in your ability to change. As for when, you can start now. Don't be focused on what you can control, what you cannot control, and focus on what you can control, which is your own thoughts and actions. And that's so important. Like, take your focus away from what you can't control. And I saw this video like two years ago of this guy mentioned create two lists. Create a list of things you can control, things you cannot control. And then start start adding to that list of things you cannot can or cannot control. Or if you don't know, just write a list of things in your life that's going on. And if you can control it, you leave it there. If you cannot control it, you, you put a line through it. And that's just a great way to start to understand of what it means. What does it mean, things I can control? And, and I mentioned here, it's, it's, it means your own thoughts and actions, it includes it. Take things step by step and try out new activities to see what you enjoy and what inspires you. And I try to focus on switching your mentality a little bit and taking steps out of your comfort zone to, to find new things that interest you and, and things that you will be passionate about and things you enjoy. And kind of just focusing on, on the things that you like rather than feeding into that negativity and hate by producing more hate and negativity and always thinking about it try for once try just focus on the positive things and try focus on the things you can change about your life because that's a very proactive and actionable thing mindset to have like you you're taking action rather than just wallowing in oh i should have did this it should have it should have been me trying your best to be the the person that takes action it it puts you a step ahead of of what you would have been if you didn't so I'll leave it there. I'll see you guys in the next video.